When Sir Ernest Shackleton set out to Antarctica in 1907, he became one of the first explorers to bring a contingency of scientists to this unknown world. As eager as the scientific community was more than 100 years ago to study Antarctica, many were willing but ill-prepared. Well, during the early expeditions, uh, polar science was really a matter of observation more than very precise science. I mean, they didn't have the gear. But a lot, a lot of us, uh, successful sci scientific research was accomplished during the Nimrod expedition. And they did accomplish some notable firsts. They did discover the, the South Magnetic Pole, which is not a fixed point, but moves about about six miles a year. Buoyed by this initial success, Shackleton again embarked on another scientific expedition of Antarctica, this time with the ill-fated ship, the Endurance. When the ship became um, trapped in the ice, it was hoped that she would rise above it and be able to be floated. But instead, she was slowly crushed, and they, were, they watched with horror as, as, as this took place. Eventually, the mast came down. And there, the, you can see the little group being rather desolate on the ice, their home, because the, the ship is always a sailor's home, gone. They were in a very dangerous situation. No one knew where they were. And metal ships didn't fare much better. A few months following the sinking of the Endurance, a steel-enforced factory ship named the Gouvernoran also fell victim to the unforgiving pack ice on January 27, 1915. Amazingly, due to the freezing temperatures here, this wreck has remained in relatively good condition. Just like these lifeboats, whose snowy canopy revealed these historical treasures just a few months ago for the very first time. Could these be Shackleton's abandoned boats or the lost lifeboats of the Gouvernoran? Historians have been able to date these boats to 1915.